Parts of central Michigan are underwater tonight, the result of a week of torrential rainfall leading to multiple dam collapses. And after seeing that video, we wanted to look into what's keeping Texas dams safe. KVU's Molly Oak has more. The water sits still on Wednesday at Mansfield Dam, but flash back just about a year ago and head over to the Lake Dunlap Dam when this happened. It's the moment the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says the middle gate collapsed. So what happens to make sure our dams are safe? Well, that's where the TCEQ dam safety program comes in. TCEQ classifies dams in three ways. High, there are nearly 1,500 of these in Texas, significant and low. That classification is based on either potential loss of life or property damage. High means that there is expected loss of life, which is more than seven people, and extensive uh, economic loss. Significant means is one to six people, and low means there's no loss of life expected. TCEQ says all high and significant hazard dams should be inspected every five years. That involves a visual inspection of the dam, the embankment, and the spillways, with a report that also notes anything that needs attention. We're not aware of any dam that's an imminent threat or failure at this point. Uh, there's some that are not in good condition as others, but we're trying to make the inspections, and we provide inspection reports to the owners after we do the inspections. They know what we found. And that's not the only information dam owners get. TCEQ also offers dam owners workshops each year to make sure they're staying up to date with the latest safety information. Molly Oak, KVU News.